You're back. The glowing sea. Virgil. What happened? Do you know anything about decoding Corsair chips? A Corsair chip? You fought a Corsair? Oh my god. Unfortunately, I can't help you. I've worked on a lot of synths, but never a Corsair. I don't know what that chip does, let alone how to decode it. But there are people who might. I work with a group that, well, they're the only ones I know that even have a chance at cracking Institute security. They are called the Railroad. The Railroad? They help since escape the Institute. I don't know who they all are. Usually an agent of theirs just shows up with someone who needs new memories. One of them gave me a code phrase. Said it would help me find them if there was ever an emergency. Follow the Freedom Trail. Any idea what the code phrase means? I'm not sure. But I remember there was a pre-war landmark with a similar name. I'd start there. Hopefully they've placed other clues to tell you where to go after that. Hidden somewhere in plain sight. That's how they think. All right. I'll find them. Good luck. I'm sorry what I have is so cryptic, but hopefully you can figure things out as you go. Seven and A. Some sort of code. Four and L. Definitely a code. Five R. Eight D next. One R. Hmm. The trail ends right at the church. Spins. Oh, so it starts with R. There we go.
right there. You went through a lot of effort to arrange this meeting. But before we go any further, answer my questions. Who the hell are you? Why don't you tell me who you are first? You wanted to see us. So that means you're playing by our rules. So, answer my question. Put down your weapons first. Until I determine you're not a threat, we'll point our weapons wherever we damn well please. Who told you how to contact us? I don't want to get anyone into trouble. We'll find out, one way or another. Last question. Why are you here? Let's say, hypothetically, I've come into possession of a Courser chip. Would you be able to help? You have what? This is not a joking matter. I didn't know we were having a party. What gives with my invitation? Oh. I see you invited the Courser Killer. Nice. Deacon, you're late. You're saying this intruder actually killed a Courser? Single-handedly? <laughs> oh, that'd give even Gloria a run for her money. Newsflash, boss. This lady is kind of a big deal. If you're done interrogating her, you might want to show this Courser murdering machine a little courtesy. Just a thought. I owe you an apology. Anyone who kills a courser is good in my book. I'm Desdemona, and I'm the leader of the railroad. Who are you people, exactly? In a world full of suspicion, treachery, and hunters, we're the synth's only friend. Des, we need to let her in. She's got an intact courser chip, for God's sake. That violates our security protocols. To hell with that! She killed a courser. There's no way she's working for the Institute. We're letting you into our headquarters. You're the first outsider ever to be given this privilege. We'll discuss the details about your chip inside. Fortunately, we have the right man for the job. You need something? Tom, our visitor here has a courser chip. Whoa! For real? Oh man, it's been ages! Right. Some ground rules. Tom can get you the code, but once he's done, we get the courser chip. Why do you want the courser chip? Institute tech is light years beyond what we have. And a courser chip is top of the line. I'm not gonna get into details, but that chip could help us save lives. Maybe throw a wrench in some of the Institute's operations. So, hand over the chip. I don't know. I might need that chip later. This isn't a negotiation. This is a demand. To anybody else in the Commonwealth, all you have is two caps worth of salvage. With us, that data is priceless. But we're not just going to give that away. Talk to me again if you change your mind. Everyone's all, you've been hitting the cams way too hard. But I got my eyes open. I see. Hey there. Made up your mind. We decode the coarser chip for you. But after that, it's ours. Deal? Fine. It's yours. All right. Tom, make it happen. All right, little coarser chip. Let's have the circuit analyzer take a crack at you. Try anything, stranger. We're in. Chip accessed. Just poke the analog connectors a little. What? Oh man, don't, don't, don't crash. Hold it together. Memory hiccup. Here it comes. Encryption algorithms. All right. All right, we're still running. Oh man. They've added more decimals to the last cipher. This is gonna be... Come on, baby, show me that pattern. Where is it? Wait, they're using the same logarithmic function as the key generator. Oh, man, we got lucky. I got you, you institute bastard, I got you. Soft for in. Come on. Show me that sweet bass. Come on, baby. Then we got it. We got the code. 
<laughs> How many cents? Let me load that onto the hollow taste for ya. Good work, Tom. Yeah, but I'm not sure how luck will hold up next time, Des. Start working on the rest of the chip. And you. I'd love to work with you more. Let me know if you're interested. But to be crystal clear, if you use that data and discover anything involving the Institute, you share it with us first. Otherwise, our relationship will be in jeopardy. Hey, don't try anything, stranger. If we're going to be dealing more with each other, I need to make sure that we're on the same page. You know what a synth is, right? Yeah. I know all about them. Good. The Institute treats synths as property. As tools. Why does the Institute treat them that way? They're playing God. Tinkering with things they don't fully understand. From that lofty vantage, it's easy to deny their creation's very humanity. Go on. So we seek to free the synths from their bondage. Give them a chance at a real life. I have a question. The only question that matters. Would you risk your life for your fellow man? Even if that man is a synth? It depends on the circumstances. There's no middle ground with this. Would you risk death to save a synth or not? Could you... Elaborate. Answer with your gut on this. Your heart. If you had to put yourself in danger to save a synth, would you do it? I risk my life for people every day. <laughs> Makes no difference to me if it's a human or a synth. Well said. Someone with your skills, your beliefs, normally we'd try and recruit you. But right now, we don't have the time to train up a new agent. There are, however, other valuable ways you can contribute. And in turn, we can help you. See Deacon for details. You're free to go. I think we ought to talk. Is something the matter? You sound upset. What? Oh, no, no. We've just been traveling a while now, and I figure there hasn't exactly been equitable distribution of information. I've gotten a decent glimpse into your dirty laundry, but you still don't really know a whole heck of a lot about me. I figured I'd offer to balance the board. So, is there anything you want to know? So, who are you, Nick? That's a question I've been trying to figure out myself for a long damn time. I know I'm a synth. Authentic Institute handiwork. But I'm still mechanical. Not bioengineered like the fancy synths giving everyone the willies these days. I get tune-ups now instead of checkups. My memories, my personality, they're all lifted from some cop who volunteered for an experiment back before the war. They scanned his brain and copied it onto the hardware that runs between my ears. Don't know why they chose to make a robot based on some pre-war cop instead of a math genius or a bioengineer. Hey, maybe that's why the Institute tossed me in the garbage instead of turning me into one of their people snatchers. Wait, the original Nick was from my time? Sure was. Which meant when I finally ended up out here, it was quite the rude awakening. I remember waking up one day in a garbage heap, a body in tatters and a head full of memories belonging to a man who'd been dead for 200 years. Suffice to say, it was a confusing couple of weeks. Folks didn't really know much about synths back then, so when I finally ran into people, they mostly treated me with caution rather than hostility. But the kids, they weren't afraid. I think his name was Jim. The first person to actually speak to me after I got the boot from the Institute. My first human contact in this world. Grilled me for an hour. <laughs> Once they'd seen I wasn't going to hurt anyone, the other folks in the neighborhood came out to ogle the mechanical man. It eventually turned into a pretty swell soiree. A local mechanic even gave me a once-over, free of charge. Those people, they... They treated me like a human being. I've been trying to return the favor ever since. It's a surprisingly rare trait out here sometimes. It's something I've noticed you got a fondness for. Part of the reason I've stuck around this long. 
Where's that town? We should go visit. I tried to go back and say thanks, once I'd gotten myself established. But the place was wiped off the map. Raiders. Don't know what happened to the people. If you're good to people, they'll be good back. That's something I've always believed. Couldn't agree more. Well, I expect you're about as bored as can be listening to me rattle my skeletons. We should probably head out. Wasn't sure I'd see you again. You managed to get what you need? I have the code. Suppose I shouldn't be surprised. You did get rid of Kellogg after all. Not too much of a leap to take down a courser. How'd you manage to get it decoded? The railroad helped me. Oh god, those kooks. I would have expected they'd be too busy trying to liberate vending machines, or setting computer terminals free, or... Sorry. They just have something of a reputation. You're not the only one who's been busy. I did the best I could. From memory and things I've overheard through the years. Came up with some schematics for you. Wasn't easy. These hands are ridiculous. Fine motor skills have gone to shit. Here's the symbol explanation. You need to build a device that will hijack the signal the Institute uses to teleport coursers, and send you instead. You know the craziest part of the design? That classical music station. That's the carrier signal for the relay. All the data's on harmonic frequencies. You've been hearing it all along. I want to be clear that this isn't my area of expertise. I was bioscience, not engineering or advanced systems or anything. Bioscience? Advanced systems? Divisions within the Institute. Specialized groups working on various projects. It'll make sense later. But if you can build this device and make use of that code, you should be able to override the signal from the Institute's relay, can you? I mean, can you build it? You have people that can help. This is a lot for one person, even you. I've got it covered. Good, good. Because you've got to make it in there, for both our sakes. And don't you forget our agreement. I've helped you as best I can. If you make it in there, you find that serum. It's my only hope for ever being... normal. So you find it. Now go on. Take these and get to work. You do whatever it takes. Call on whoever you know to help you. 